Hey, how's it going folks? My name is Hellbent and welcome to AutoHotkey mini tutorial number 13. In this one I'm going to show you how to create a script that will set any window that you want as always on top. So here we go, we have a new script and I'm going to use a hotkey to launch this. You can build this into a GUI, etc, etc. Have it any way you want. I'm going to use a hotkey for this example and I'm just going to set my hotkey to be number pad 1. So if I press number pad 1 it's going to launch the code in here. I'll add in a return right away and then fill this in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to explain to myself what I'm supposed to do in order to set the window on top. To do that I'm going to enter into a while loop and I'm going to set it to be while I'm not while I while the key state is not control or what, as long as I haven't pressed control, so that as soon as this runs it's going to start a loop. This loop is only going to exit if I press control. If I haven't pressed control yet, it's going to keep looping. What it's going to do inside that loop is just pop up some instructions on what I'm supposed to do next. And the next thing I want to do is to select the window that I that you want to set as always on top and then press control. Here I'll put that in quotes to make it press control. So let's assume that this has popped up, they've seen that, they've selected the window they want and then they press control. That's going to exit out of our loop. So the first thing we'll do is we'll turn off the tooltip and then the next thing we'll do is we will set the window as always on top. So let's give it, let's paint a scenario. Let's say I'm working on something and I need a calculator. But every single time I click on something, the other page, my calculator ends up getting buried. So here I have a calculator and it doesn't have a built in way for me to set this as always on top. But, like I said, we're going to create the script that's going to do that for me. So let's say I need to, I'm working on something, I need a calculator, I need it to stay up on top, but every time I click away, it ends up getting buried. Gets annoying real quick. I want this to stay on top, so this is the window that we're going to set on top. So to do that, we're just going to type a win, win set, and the command we're going to use, or the parameter we're going to use, is always on top. The state we're going to set, or the value we're going to set, is to toggle. There's two other things that we can do. We can do on and off. On is if, let's say for example, no matter what the state of the thing is, I just want it to be on top. So if it's currently on top and I do it, it still stays on top. If it's not on top and I do it, it goes to on top. The other one would be off, where I doesn't matter what its current state is, I just want to make sure that it's off. So if it's currently on top, it'll turn that off and if it's currently not on top it'll just do nothing. The other is toggle which is switches between it so if it's not on top it'll be on top if it is on top it'll be not on top. What are we going to be setting on top? We're going to be setting the active window because we've said to our user select the window that you want to set as always on top so that person has selected that window. So we're going to select the active window which is the last window the person set and that's it. This is our script, so let's go ahead and run a test. With a script like this, it's a good idea to have a way of quickly launching it. Because otherwise you're going to be bar digging around for something that you can't. Uh, you want to be able to use this quick. So anyway, so we got the script running. I'm going to press number pad 1. That starts the script. I get this tooltip that says select the window that I want to set as always on top. And then press control. Now if I click away from it, this window stays on top. If I want to change that, I press number pad 1, I select the window, press control, and now it can get buried again. So here I can switch between this window being always on top and not. And you can do this with any window that you want. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you like these kind of tutorials, be sure to hit that like button to keep them coming. And I will see you on the next one, which will cover, who knows? Peace. Have a good night.